What is Bootstrap? Uh, Bootstrap started off as an internal tool, kind of actually just to help us build stuff at Twitter mm -hmm. um, really fast and kind of in a consistent, nice way. And I think a lot of that is still kind of the case, but now it's just opened up to the web at large, and we have a lot of like browser support and stuff like that just to make it easy to get started and build something that's highly usable and awesome. How do you manage work on Bootstrap with the work that you have at Twitter? I mean, is there a lot of overlap there, or are you working uh, a lot of nights? That yes, kind of thing? yes. I have absolutely no social <laughs> life at all, actually. Uh, yeah, so it's completely uh, different. I work on the platform team at Twitter, so I do um, Twitter for websites type things. Um, and then, yeah, just nights and weekends, uh, Mark and I, uh, Mark Otto, who's the uh, co author, is just, we just, work on it constantly. It's crazy, actually, uh, how much time we spend on it. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of that's like issues and support and everything else, but and a little bit of cool code stuff. But sure. Yeah. And is that just the nature of the beast? I mean, if somebody else is thinking of doing the same thing, they, they basically need to be ready for that type of investment? Yeah. Um, yes, <laughs> I, th I think so. Yeah. I, it, it's kind of like a, it's almost a bittersweet thing uh, in some cases. like. You spend all this time, you build some, a product that you think is really awesome. You're like, this is great. People are going to love it. And then it's really successful. And then you're like, oh, man, now I'm like half support person, like <laughs> out of nowhere. Um, right. But yeah, it's, it's an interesting ride kind of, yeah. So I've had some chats with other people who have been involved with uh, popular open source projects. And they've pretty consistently harped on the importance of uh, good documentation and a strong community as the keys to the growth. Is that something that you've seen here as well? Uh, yeah, I mean, Bootstrap is really interesting in that like a lot of our product is our documentation. So I, I've always been like a really big kind of um, fan of amazing documentation. Like it saves so much time. Um, I also have this kind of interesting or I guess different view in documentation in, in that it shouldn't be overly complete and that you should actually encourage people to dive into like the source and actually experiment hmm. and stuff. Um, but definitely with community, I mean, I think that's I, one of, the, by far, the most important uh, factor in like really the success, and particularly the long-term success. Because as people work on a project, you get people like John Resig or something like this, and it's kind of natural to get at least to an extent burnt out, which mm -hmm. isn't necessarily what I would say uh, happened with him. But I've seen it with a lot of my other friends who uh, have really successful projects, like on the third year after like doing <laughs> this every night and weekend and sure. like putting in that like tenth hour or whatever. Um, really starts to get to you, I think, and without having an amazing kind of support of the community, like mm -hmm. there to like help out with support questions and um, kind of help each other like, uh, get stuff done, it's really, really hard. And presumably the perpetuation of the project past that point of burnout yeah. would be contingent upon exactly. somebody in the community. Yeah, yeah, up, exactly. Right? Like you need to, uh, Mark and I right now are the only two people, but uh, as, as we move forward, it's going to be really important to like figure out how to bring more people in and get them more involved in creating stuff. I think jQuery has done like at least I'm a front end engineer, so like in my eyes they've done like just the most amazing job of like really scaling the community yeah. and like adding really important members that can like really keep the project growing and doing right. amazing stuff. Right. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of it. They recognized that it had become that thing, and then they allowed it to become that thing and built it accordingly. Yep, totally, right? totally. So, last question for you: What's the uh, short term future for Bootstrap? What do you What do you see happening? Oh, the short term future. I uh, there's a number of things that Mark and I are working on right now. Um, we're doing a uh, rewrite of the docs to simplify a little bit. Um, the two main kind of things that we really want to focus on are uh, accessibility. Um, uh, with Todd Klutz is going to be helping us out a lot. He was the accessibility guy at YUI, and he just came back to Twitter, and he's incredible. We're going to be doing a um, kind of like a small hackathon type thing at the office for this, and it's going to be really fun and mm -hmm. like hopefully really informative and really help to push uh, accessibility forward in Bootstrap. And then uh, also we want to work on mobile support more because um, it's we kind of had the start of mobile support with like responsive stuff, but um, it's not quite there. And so we have this thing at Twitter, which we like harp on all the time, which is uh, reach everyone in the planet or, some, or something like that. And uh, that's just really what we're trying to do. We're trying to like uh, make sure that Bootstrap is useful, not just in like this one very limited context, but it's uh, good for accessibility, it's good for mobile, it's good for as many things as it can be. Great. Well, thanks yeah. for being with us. Cool. Thank you very much.